Age of Ultron is almost upon us. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Age of Ultron interesting facts. You're all not worthy. For this list, we've looked at the upcoming Avengers sequel, Avengers Age of Ultron. We've scoured through all of the information surrounding the release and ranked the most interesting, exciting, and curious items out there. Shall we play a game? Number 10. More VFX than any MCU has ever seen. Tech-wise, Age of Ultron is unlike any Marvel movie to date. It will employ over 3,000 VFX shots, more than any previous Marvel Comics Universe film to date. With a 250 million mega budget behind them, director Joss Whedon has spent some considerable coin on a brand new ILM capture system known as Muse. It's a system that makes it easier to combine different takes into a single scene. It's called the Ultron program. Whedon's also splashed some serious cash on hiring a champion drone flyer and a remote car racer, using their skills to achieve never-before-seen camera angles. Are you excited yet? People who look to the sky and see hope. Number nine, ScarJo was pregnant during the filming. He's so uncomfortable. It's not exactly the word I would use. Scarlett Johansson's character Black Widow is one of the main Avengers, but the majority of her scenes had to be shot as early as possible. Why? Because the actress was pregnant during the filming. While wonderful news for ScarJo herself, a baby bump would have left her skin-tight suit a little stretched. Rule number one, never take your eye off your opponent. Oh my god! This was a potential setback that was overcome with little difficulty, according to the cast and crew. A mixture of body doubles and CGI were used to make everything A-OK. -okay. Congrats again to Scarlett. Number 8. Gadgets, Gadgets, Gadgets They're the world's best superhero team, so they need the world's best equipment in their arsenal. There will be numerous new inventions and upgrades in Age of Ultron, mostly regarding various weaponry. Black Widow wields new supercharged batons, Captain America's shield will have a callback feature installed, and Hawkeye will hold a new all-encompassing selection of arrow tips, perfect for any situation. Finally, Hulk will be given some super stretchy pants, a wardrobe upgrade that he's clearly needed for a long time. Didn't think those would fit you until you shrunk down to a regular size, fella. Number seven, drawing inspiration from The Godfather. What is your name? Tu nome. Vito Andolini from Corleone. Director Joss Whedon has revealed that while making his movie, he got some inspiration from another great sequel, The Godfather Part II. Possibly the most universally respected sequel ever made, Whedon is clearly setting the bar high with this one in terms of storyline, aesthetic, and, well, just about everything else. You can have my answer now if you like. My offer is this. Nothing. Direct comparisons between Francis Ford Coppola's epic and Whedon's summer blockbuster are sparse, but the latter is acknowledging that a lot has happened since the Avengers last assembled. The new movie is about creating something new, with the foundation of something that we already love. This is my bargain, you mewling quim. You're a monster. <laughs> oh no. You brought the monster. Number six, how to solve a problem like the Hulk. Bruce Banner is as unpredictable as they come, and when the Hulk is in full furious swing, he's almost unstoppable. Target angry, target angry. But according to the Age of Ultron trailer, Iron Man will at some point be attempting to do just that. Of all the sneak peeks so far, the big and beautiful Hulkbuster armor has caused the biggest of cinematic stirs. An apparent add-on to the traditional Iron Man apparel, it's shown during a Hulk-Iron Man standoff, the cause of which is unclear. Whatever the reason, it looks awesome. Number five, epic movie, epic trailer. I was designed to save the world. Any uncertainty as to the anticipation levels for the next Avengers film were stamped out within 24 hours of the first trailer's release. A teaser was initially leaked online before the first trailer officially dropped, taking over the internet in record-breaking fashion. I tried to create a suit of armor around the world. The clip was viewed over 34 million times during its first day, which is a rate of hits never before seen. If you haven't seen it by now, then where exactly have you been? Number four, a kick-ass couple. Dave should go. Why? Dave, you should totally go. Go. 
You're a dick. Don't be afraid, Dave. As if the MCU isn't interwoven enough on its own, Age of Ultron provides another acting link through the character Quicksilver and the DIY superhero movie Kick-Ass. Hey, Reportedly, it took Joss Whedon a year to convince Aaron Taylor Johnson to take on the role in the new Avengers movie, during which time the actor might have sought advice from his Kick-Ass co-star Evan Peters, who also played Quicksilver in 20th Century Fox's X-Men Days of Future Past. Is you something strange here? Nothing anybody would believe if you told them. This isn't the same version of Quicksilver, however. The two silver screen versions of the character exist as a result of a loophole due to Quicksilver's status as both an Avenger and a mutant. Therefore, this new Quicksilver should be as fresh as he is fast. Sooner or later, they will meet the twins. Number three, we have a vision. Enough. Put the mental interface device on her before she regains consciousness. On to another character whose image has been closely guarded during the run-up to Age of Ultron's May 1st release date. The vision adds even more color to the Avengers' colossal character list, as British actor Paul Bettany breathes life into the artificial creation of an artificial creation. Conceived and created by Ultron himself, the vision is essentially Frankenstein's monster's monster, at least in theory. Bettany has provided the voice of Jarvis until now. Initiating virtual crime scene reconstruction. So speculate on the significance of that at your leisure. No, I will not allow this. Number two, Tony Stark creates Ultron, not Ant-Man. But I created something terrible. Artificial intelligence. As per the Age of Ultron trailer and many Whedon interviews, the infamous Ultron is Tony Stark's creation, a move that makes masses of cinematic sense. It may be the biggest detraction from Marvel Comics canon in the entire film series. No time to explain. You have to tell me how to stop Ultron. Originally, Hank Pym, aka Ant-Man, played father to the catastrophic creation. But Whedon has said because Hank will not appear in Age of Ultron, Ultron's origin had to be juked to fit the franchise. Ant-Man's debut will come later in 2015 with his own self-titled summer blockbuster. I know. Wasn't my idea. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ultron in the flesh. That's the best you can do! <laughs> Number one, Ultron's got no strings. Of the many great things about the trailer, the eerie I've Got No Strings rendition has really stuck in our minds. With the key lyrics being spoken by Ultron himself, the Pinocchio parallels are clear. How could you be worthy? You're all puppets. Tangled in strings. Stark is likely a stand-in for Geppetto, which is interesting enough seeing as Robert Downey Jr. is set to play the character on another project in the not-too-distant future. And the titular bad guy has a puppet-turned-real-boy kind of role. But will the pair end Age of Ultron united, divided, or somewhere in between? There are no strings on me. Our curiosity is only matched by our excitement. Not to mention, without Disney owning Marvel, there would probably be no strings between the franchises. There are no strings on me! <laughs> Do you agree with our list? You had to ask. Which fact did we forget? For more highly anticipated top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. This is my programming, and soon I will be unstoppable.